Guys, what is going on? Caledoni here coming at you with another hybrid squad builder of mine. Before I begin, I'd just like to say this team was very fun to play with. However, because EA are fucking shit, they always, um, they always link me with teams that are five stars, so it is a very difficult team to play with. Well, it's not a difficult team to play with, but it's hard because you're playing against people who have five stars teams. So in that sense, it's not particularly fair. But let's just jump in, shall we? Now, in goal, we have got Marchetti. How many times have I used Marchetti? He is, you know, if, you, if you've ever watched any of my other videos, you'll know how highly I rate this guy. He's a brilliant player. I think I've used him in three other squad builders. He's so, so good. Uh, yeah, let's just move on to the centre-back. And we have got... We have got... <laughs> We've got Benatia. Benatia. I picked him up for 1,000 coins. His defensive stats are really, really good. It's 85 defending and 80 heading, which is absolutely insane. The only unfortunate thing is his pace. He does seem to get sort of uh, gassed really easily. And with three at the back, you really do need pacey uh, centre backs. In the next centre back position, we have got Gunning. Gunning is is a nice silver player that I that I managed to get. 76 pace, 81 heading, 78 def 78 defense. He's a he's a good little player to um to use. Picked up for 3,000 coins. If you are making an Irish team, that is silver. Definitely pick this guy up. Or maybe even an SPL team. Pick this guy up. He's a really great player to use. Next centre back position, we have got Vorasa. Vorasa. Uh, as you can see there with those stats, they're brilliant. Six foot four, 77 pace, 76 defending, 80 heading. What a monster! I picked him up for 800 coins. This guy is a definite tank. Go get him if you're making a Ghanaian team. Now in the left mid position, we have got Mikel, Mikel, Mackey, sorry, <laughs> Mackey Stephen. This guy is an absolute monster. As you can see, they're five-star skill moves, 85 pace, 79 dribbling. I don't think many people know about this guy, to be honest, guys. So, you know, look at that. Look at those stats. They just sort of speak themselves. Four-star weak foot, five-star skill moves, 8,600 coins I managed to get him for. Nice little player. Really fun to use. Now, in the next centre mid position, we have got... Um, not going to bother. <laughs> uh, Four-star skill moves, four-star weak foot. Picked him up for 1,000 coins. A nice little player again. 82 pace, 76 dribbling. He was fun to use. As again, as I keep saying, this team was a really fun team to use. Unfortunately, you get linked with absolutely amazing teams. In the next centre mid position, we have got Emmanuel. This guy, he's okay. He's probably one of the weaker links within the squad. 77 pace, 74 dribbling, and 75 passes are his uh, standout stats. Um, he was, he was, yeah, like I said before, he's more of a kind of uh, uh, chemistry filler per se, but he, he, he's an okay player. Wouldn't really recommend him tremendously. And on the right mid position, we have got Quincy. Now, everybody, I think, knows Quincy. Five-star skill moves, 92 pace, 81 dribbling. For a set for a 71 rated silver, that is insane. Guys, again, if you're going to make a Ghanaian team, go out and get this guy. Because if you like skilling, he is the man for you. 21,750 coins I picked him up for. Quite expensive. Uh, but, yeah, he's a pretty fun player to use. Now, oh... So I have to put him in the right wing. In the right wing position, we have got Pepe. Pepe, uh, I don't. I, I personally don't really like Pepe that much. If you can find any right wingers that uh, that are Italian and that play in the Serie A league, or I think it's Juventus or whatever, uh, get another one because I really wasn't too chuffed with this guy. Four star skill was four star weak foot, which I suppose is pretty good. Um, but to be honest, wasn't really a player for me. Picked him up for 500 coins, so I guess what can you expect? Now, in the left wing, sorry, I can't even bloody hell, what am I doing? <laughs> Jesus, what am I doing? In the left wing position, we have got Driver, another Scottish player with four star skill moves, 90 pace, 70 dribbling. He was a really fun player to use as well. Uh, picked him up for 1,100 coins, which is a bargain. The only problem I have with this guy is he's left footed and he's playing on the left wing and he's also five foot nine, which is kind of a which is kind of annoying because he does get nudged off the ball very, very, very easily. And it and the and the same goes for for uh the same goes for uh, McKay, Stephen, you know, he's left footed on the left wing and he just seems to get nudged off the ball. Same for the right mids and the right wingers. Okay, now for the for the big striker up front, we have got the inform Mikkeli. Now this guy, you know, I've used his normal version and he's probably one of my favourite strikers in the game. And, you know, the inform version, I've got to say, uh, I still really, really like the guy, but I would not go out and pay 73,000 for this guy. Uh, he didn't, he's, he doesn't feel much, 
uh, much different. I just wanted to try him out, you know, I've never really used the Inform version. Again, I, like I said, I just sort of wanted to try him out. Um, but yeah, definitely don't buy the Inform version, just get the normal one, he's still just as good. But anyway, that's going to be the end of the video now, guys. I really hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, drop a little like, that would be great, maybe even sub. Hope you enjoyed it, have a sick day. I'm going to leave you some goals, and peace.